What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. For those that are new here, my name is Eric and I just bought this 2022 M340i xDrive and in today's video we're going to be installing a active auto work padded down pipe that meets EPA emissions. All right, guys, for those that don't know, this car is powered by a B58TU. That's the same six cylinder turbo that's in the new Supra. This additionally has a hybrid electric motor and it is all wheel drive with the ZF eight speed transmission, lets it launch with launch control and is, has a zero to 60 of right around four seconds. As you guys can see, this thing's pretty optioned out. It has the optional shadow line trim package, which blacks out all the exterior, as well as this front radar down here in the grill. That actually is the self-driving package that this comes with. It lets you use adaptive cruise control as well as lane keeping and what's called Traffic Jam Pro and lets you go all the way down to zero miles an hour, full braking and full acceleration. Um, super handy to have in traffic and it's an amazing option that this car came with. The paint on this car is called Mineral Gray Metallic. It's an option from BMW as well. It's one of the upgraded paints for the M340i. Additionally, this car has the 19 inch wheels with the all season run flats and the option M Sport red brakes. As you guys can see, it has a couple modifications already. First one being right here, this Maxton Designs front lip, as well as the roof being wrapped in black vinyl. And we have some tint on the front windows as well as the windshield. Um, and you guys can kind of see back here, we have a carbon fiber spoiler. That's also aftermarket. As we have a diffuser as well as upgraded quad tips in the back. Links to all those products will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. Let's go ahead and jump into the install. We're gonna be installing the Active Auto Work catted downpipe in the B58. All right, guys, now that we got the engine cover off, we're gonna have access to the O2 sensors, which are these two plugs right here. We're gonna disconnect those, and then those can be taken out with the downpipe. There's a V-band clamp at the top on the back side of the turbo, and then there is a clamp connecting the bottom of the downpipe to the mid pipe. Those are the only things we have to disconnect, and then it'll come right out. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the electrical connectors, and then we'll go and disconnect the V-band, jack the car up, and disconnect the mid pipe um, from underneath. First off, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect these O2 sensors right here. You can see that I disconnected them from these holders right there, and then disconnected them from the plugs. Pop out that gray side, and then you squeeze the gray and pull it out. There's a little clip on the bottom of these in order to release them off of the rail, and you just pry that to the left, and then you can release them off that way. We're gonna disconnect these from the wire clips right here and there's another one back there and then we can drop these down so that they're out of the way there are the 213 mm bolts up high that are for the downpipe mount we're gonna break those loose now we're gonna go ahead and remove this one right here and this one right here, both 13 mils as well, in order to remove this clamp and to let the mid pipe hang so we can get the down pipe all the way out. All right guys, once you have the V-band clamp loose, the two bolts holding the down pipe to the engine and these two bolts holding the mid pipe in and it's separated, should be ready to come out. So we're gonna go ahead and wiggle this thing around and try and see if we can get it to come out with the O2 sensors connected without snagging on anything.
All right, guys, so I got the stock down pipe out. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of when it was in the car and you couldn't see it. So we have the V-band clamp right here. This is the direction it faces with the down pipe. This bolt you can't see, and the one you're getting out is right here. Um, so make sure you guys don't take this out all the way or else this nut uh, will fall off. Next here, we have the mount that holds the down pipe on. So just remember there's a little tab right here that you just need to push up and pop off. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take out these O2 sensors right here and here. The thing we're gonna need to do that is this O2 sensor remover tool right here. It's a 22 millimeter. All right guys, take your O2 socket, put it over, and then you're gonna use a hammer. Hammer it like that, break this, so you can then go ahead and release this by hand. All right guys, we got this new active auto work down pipe right here. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Let's go ahead and get our V-band back on. We'll put the V-band into place once it is up in the car. That looks like it's pretty much there. So now the next thing is gonna to be to get the V-band over the turbo and the downpipe. Get it like loosely tightened because that's more important than this. This has a lot of flex, that doesn't. That needs to be really seated on there. So we'll make sure that we feed these O2 sensor wires up um, and clip them back into the, the holders and then we'll try and get that V-band clamp around the turbo and the downpipe. You guys can see we got everything installed. The downpipe is right there. O2 sensors wiring is ran back up to here. Reclip them in and uh, we're good to go. All right guys, we just got the car lowered down. Everything is installed and tightened up. It fit amazing. Shout out to Active Auto Work. The fitment on this downpipe is perfect. Um, we're gonna go ahead and throw the engine cover back on, shut the hood, and let's get some revs so you guys can hear this new downpipe installed.
All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to check out some more content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.